everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are doing another what i eat in a day as you would have seen i made myself a matcha this morning an iced matcha oh my god it was so nice literally last week i was saying how like i haven't had matcha for ages and i started having it again yesterday and i don't know where i stopped so now that's my new obsession. So that's probably gonna continue for a week and then we'll move back to the iced coffees. And now I'm just having some breakfast. I'm just having some jam on toast. It's 25 past 11. I don't know how this has happened, but it's very late to be eating breakfast. I also have some water. <laughs> oh my God, I love toast so much. I've kind of realized that I need to start doing a quick disclaimer before every video because i realize that some people are new like if this is the first video that you've clicked on hi i post what i eat in a day videos every single week so you should definitely subscribe i have been on a calorie deficit for the past month if you are new you might be like why is she not eating a lot because i obviously don't say that in every single video so i feel like i need to start saying that so that you don't think that I'm not eating enough. I have been on a calorie deficit for the past month and honestly I feel so much better for it. I feel so much healthier. I feel like I'm just so much more like in control of what I'm actually like putting into my body. And as you will see from my videos, like it's like a very realistic way in a day. Like I don't eat super healthy foods, but I just make sure that I'm sticking to like my calories for the day and like nutrients and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I need to start doing that disclaimer before every video because otherwise I feel like people are gonna be like she's really not eating that much but i thought in today's video we could talk a bit about results because obviously i have been on this calorie deficit for a month now so it would be a bit weird if i didn't see results because i have actually been well i say i've been sticking to it i kind of take weekends off uh which i don't know if you're supposed to do but i've been finding that it's been working fine for me to be honest like i don't go crazy but i mean last weekend i had chinese two days in a row so take with that what you will yeah easter weekend i just went completely off track let's not even talk about it so in the past month maybe i'll do like a monthly update for results if anyone's interested in that but i am very wary that it can be like a sensitive topic for a lot of people so yeah in the past month i have lost six pounds which i don't know if that's good or not to be honest with you like i don't know how much you're supposed to lose in a month so yeah that is how much weight i have lost in the past month if anyone's interested and it's literally just been by being in a calorie deficit like that is the main thing i don't work out i don't go to the gym not that we can anyway but don't go to the gym don't run i literally don't do any exercise and i have like an office job so i'm like sat down for most of the day so i think the calorie deficit is like a hundred percent the main thing like that is what every fitness person i've spoken to has said like you have to be in a calorie deficit like that is the only thing that's really going to like make you lose weight but i have also been walking a lot more and mentally like even just like getting out like most days it's just like the best feeling and i feel like i've gotten fitter like i can walk longer and i just feel like so much better honestly than i did because i mean i know that everyone says that they put on a bit of lockdown weight but i really feel like i just like completely let myself go because i was just at home all the time i was bored and like when i'm bored i eat and obviously i'm not like an unhealthy weight like i'm not overweight by any means but it's more just about getting to the place i used to be so yeah there's my results if anyone was interested i don't want to talk about it too much but there we go anyway i'm gonna finish eating my breakfast drinking my water and i'll be back with you at lunchtime. it is now half two so i'm gonna make myself some lunch and i actually found these in sainsbury's the other day and it was very exciting because i love super noodles okay i really do but they're very bad for you like they're really unhealthy but when i went to sainsbury's they had super noodles but the low fat version so let me just let me just put you somewhere so we can compare because my boyfriend got the normal ones so these are the low fat ones and then these are the normal ones so if we just compare nutrients so in a full pack this is 304 calories which for a lunch is great and then in the normal ones in a full pack there is 442 calories and i mean the calories aren't the main thing it's the fat content so listen to this so in the normal ones there's 4.5 grams of saturated fat and 9.6 
grams of normal fat. And then in the low fat ones, there's only 0.3 grams of saturated fat and 0.9 grams of normal fat. So like the fat content difference is crazy. So yeah, I was very excited to find these low fat versions. So this is what I'm gonna have for my lunch. I had this yesterday actually and it was so nice. This is the chicken and herb flavor. I literally just make mine in the microwave because I'm lazy. But it's very simple and it's a very like quick, easy lunch. Like don't get me wrong, it's probably not as healthy as having like a salad with chicken. But like I said at the beginning of the video, we do realistic what I eat in a day around here. And you know, in a busy day, who has time to cook chicken? No one. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna have. And I think I'm gonna have some orange juice as well. I have been getting the worst headaches for the past like month. And it's really stressing me out because I literally just get headaches all the time. So I'm getting my eyes tested on Sunday. Cause I'm thinking maybe it's something to do with that. But it's really annoying. Like I literally get headaches all the time. But yeah, anyway, let's make these. Okay, while well, my super noodles are cooking, because I can't wait, I am hungry. So whilst I'm waiting, I'm having some of these breadsticks. I love having breadsticks as a snack, okay? Breadsticks, okay. Breadsticks are just amazing, aren't they? Look how thick they are. Right, I need to give my super noodles a little stir. Also have some orange juice have orange juice these days yesterday i made my super noodles a little bit too dry so i'm gonna not overcook them this time or try not to okay here are my super noodles they look a lot better than yesterday like they still have a bit of liquid but i think it's better like that otherwise they go really dry so yeah i'm having a full pack of the super noodles and I've nearly finished my orange juice hold up hold up Tell me what the hold up is I'm a little sport I'll be the first to win it It honestly felt like summer last weekend And now it's just gone back to winter And I'm just not here for it It was snowing yesterday Sorry what? So I just finished my lunch And now I'm having some raspberries I really want to learn some good protein smoothie recipes Because I do actually have protein powder And the one thing that I really lack in terms of like the food that i eat is protein because i'm not a big meat eater um i just don't really get enough protein unless i like drink it so if anyone has any really good protein smoothie recipes something that makes it a bit sweet i just can't stand the taste of protein powder like i try and have it by itself but it's just too much for me i can't do it mm. so it's now 25 past six so i'm going to make some dinner and for dinner today, I'm going to try these vegan sausages. I'm actually very upset because I went to Sainsbury's and they didn't have any of the Richmond vegan sausages and those ones are incredible. Like, oh my gosh, if you are not vegan, just try the Richmond sausages. They literally taste like normal sausages, like they are incredible. But I feel like they are the best ones and they're known to be the best ones, so they're always out of stock. So I had to get the Linda McCartney ones instead, but that's okay, makes a nice change. So these are the vegetarian chorizo and red pepper sausages. So I'm hoping they're gonna taste nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna make some of these. I'm gonna have it with some salad and some couscous. So quite a light, quick meal. But yeah, I'm really not that hungry. I feel like my lunch really filled me up. Those super noodles are rather heavy. So here is my dinner. So I have two of the vegetarian sausages with some salad and then this is giant couscous did i talk about this in my last video i feel like i did giant couscous is my new favorite thing guys honestly if you're trying to eat healthier couscous is just amazing like i'd recommend it over rice i'm gonna put some nando's perinase on also got this at the weekend was very excited about it so yeah that's gonna be my dinner pretty healthy this is less than 300 calories which is pretty good for a dinner. It's gotten very dark very quickly. I feel like I need to put light on. I just finished my dinner. It was actually really nice. The sausages still weren't as good as the Richmond vegan sausages. But I just don't think that any sausage is gonna compare to be honest. Are the Richmond sausages vegan or are they vegetarian? I don't know. So now I'm just having some homemade Yes, homemade. Just had to add that in there. Some homemade banana cake that I made at the weekend and it's honestly so nice i highly recommend 
making banana bread. I feel like banana bread was a thing in the first ever lockdown and I just never got on that. I never jumped on that hype, but now I'm all about the banana bread. So yeah, I'm gonna have this and I'm watching the Mummy Diaries. Oh, and I'm having another cup of water. It's currently five to 11, so I am going to end this video here. My makeup looks awful. Guys, I have the worst headache again. I just don't know what's wrong with me. I just keep getting the worst headaches. I hope I don't need new glasses because I've literally got like 10 pairs of glasses in this certain prescription. So that would just ruin my life. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you do subscribe to my channel if you are new because I post these videos every single week as well as some sort of vlogs now and then. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.